Some people say that it's overkill to start an LLC, to launch an LLC when you actually start selling on Amazon. And I totally disagree with this and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, not too long ago on the Discord server, because yes, we have a Discord server, uh, we had a question about this from Hello. I answered quickly uh, on the Discord server. I wanted to talk more about it. And I wanted to talk about why uh, it is actually not overkill to start a LLC when you actually start uh, an Amazon business. And you should, and I believe that you should actually create different LLC. If you have a different business that you are actually running, you should create an LLC for every single business that you run. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, but before we start, if you had need help sourcing, okay, Amazon products, if you have a hard time sourcing online arbitrage products, I have a free course in the description that is going to help you do just that. Also, if you need some help, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentorship. There's a link in the description if you want to join the mentorship program or get on a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me. Uh, the, the, the $50 a month mentorship program is going... I'm going to close it soon uh, because the groups that I'm working with right now, I'm working with three groups, they are already getting a little bit advanced. So if I get beginners thrown, thrown into that group, it's going to fuck up the balance. So there's one seat open... Uh, for Saturday at 1 p.m. EST and one seat open for Sunday at 5 p.m. EST. So if you want to join, join now. I'll close it. It's Sunday today. Uh, before the first call for next week, which is on Saturday at 1 p.m., I will close the those groups and I will not have any seats available until I actually uh, start new groups. Okay, so if you want to do this, join the groups as soon as possible. If not, you, you will have a link to join the, 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 the wait list uh, whenever the groups are closed okay so yeah that's it so let's just get started with the video so um if we read about what this guy say he asked somebody else on another discord server about this and uh, as he said I, I already talked a little bit about this in previous videos but basically what the guy said is that uh, the guy said that he, he wanted to protect some assets that he have uh, he didn't want to let the door open for if something went wrong people could chase these assets and uh, the guys say, if you miss any steps in creating, maintaining the LLC, lawyers will sue anyway and pierce the corporate veil. Okay, so that's one of the big points why he said uh, it's not it's not really worth it. You can do it, but it's not necessarily going to work. Another thing that he said is personal personal experience. You know, it's easy to pierce the corporate veil, and I'm going to talk about what it is piercing the corporate veil. Um, and if you want to do it right, it will take a lot more time and expense than this to do it right so just uh, 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 an umbrella policy will be way more effective in doing this now um so first piercing the corporate bill so the reason why you want to create an LLC, one of the reasons why, at least, which is not the only one, and I'm going to talk about that, by the way, but a reason why is, is that the reason why you want to start an LLC is because it is going to separate your assets from your company's asset, okay? And so if anything goes wrong with your company, let's say uh, you sell a product, uh, I don't know, you sell a product with batteries that actually explode and burn a customer, uh, the customer can sue your company, okay? And, uh, you know, if you sell yourself, you do not have a company, the customer can sue you directly, okay? So they, they can indeed touch your own assets. So the reason why you want to create an LLC is because it's a limited liability company. So if you own an LLC, your liability, your own liability will be limited to what the company owns, okay? You, your assets cannot be touched. No, it is not 100% true because what lawyers can do if you get sued is actually uh, try to pierce the corporate veil. And why? Do, what does that mean? It means that they are going to try to show that um, you are personally liable and that your company, not only your company, I mean, your company is not like you, you need to put your assets to actually, you need to pay back, to pay back yourself, the customer that was, that had suffered damage or whatever with your own assets. And so they can actually attack your own assets. No. Um, piercing the corporate veil is not that easy, uh, except if you do some dumb stuff, such as, um, you know, using your, your, your company's bank account to actually make personal purchase, dumb stuff like this, like really commingling your, and I do not even know if you, you can say commingling, but like if you commingle your assets, uh, your personal assets and your company's assets and you use them, use your company asset as your own, uh, it will make it easy to actually pierce the corporate veil. Now... You must know that there's a couple of states uh, where, and this is the reason why actually a lot of companies actually set up their LLC in Delaware. Because if you set up your LLC in Delaware, like you will need to be sued in Delaware to make it short, right? And so in Delaware, like the courts are pretty 
uh, are, are most of the time like d their their regulations are pretty business friendly, and so it's going to be way harder to purchase the corporate veil in Delaware and in another northern state uh, that I forgot about. No, by the way, all this is not, and I, I want to be clear, it's not. Uh, it's definitely not legal advice. Okay, I'm not a lawyer. I'm a little bit literate when it comes to regulations and law and all that stuff because I studied law for a couple of years, but I never finished. Uh, I, I moved to business. And so what I'm saying may be wrong. So do your own due diligence. No, uh, when it comes to navigating legal matters, I'm doing it myself most of the time for my business. So um, yeah, that's what, what I'm saying is what. No, um, as I said, even if... It could be quite easy to pierce the corporate veil in some instance. It does not mean that you should not get an LLC because having an LLC is still going to give you um, some sort of protection and it, it, nobody is going to go after your assets except if it's really worth it. For example, if you don't have houses, multiple properties, all that stuff. If you literally, if you have a house that is worth one hundred thousand uh, dollars and that's all that they can they, that they can get, uh, nobody like. Or less than that. Like, like, if it's not worth it to go after, lawyers are not going to spend hours to try to pierce the corporate veil. Okay, it's not that easy. Yes, it can be done, but it's not that easy. And as long as you do not do any dumb stuff, it should be all right. So this is why, if you have multiple investments, if you have multiple companies, you should start an LLC for every single investment, every single company, because it's really hard to fuck up. Um, create bank accounts for every single one of them where you actually get your income. This is why, for example, I have. An LLC for my Amazon business. I have an LLC for my eBay business. I have an LLC for this YouTube business, and all of them like they do not share stuff in common. Okay, so um, you know it gives you some kind of protection. Yes, you can pierce the corporate veil, but it will still give you some basic form of protection if you do not do uh, any dumb stuff. Now, of course, you can still pierce the corporate veil, and if you have ten million dollars in assets, uh, yes, do not do it yourself. Get the help of professionals, and at that point, you should probably have uh you know lawyers on retainers in case some stuff goes bad so get the help of lawyers to actually build you a, a decent corporate structures because if you have 10 million dollars in assets uh yeah go ahead and spend ten thousand dollars to actually get a, a corporate structure that actually makes sense to protect yourself but if not like you can like what i do like you do not have to pay like 200 and something dollars in delaware to do this, um, you can just create an LLC in New Mexico. It's fifty dollars, literally, and you do not need to pay to to renew it. So it will still give you some sort of basic um, basic protection if you do not do anything dumb. Now, what I wanted to say is that creating an LLC, the, the, it's not the protection. Protecting your assets is not the sole reason why you want to create LLCs when you start a business. And so you should always think long term. And mainly what you want to do is you can you, you want to open a bank account for your business, for your Amazon business, because it will start building, it will start help you build a business relationship with your bank okay and so you have even if it's not with your bank but if you need loans in the future to expand your business or, or to show your business proneness you can always uh, you know you have history you have history with that business and like most of the time if you want to get a loan uh, for business uh, like a business loan anything that actually uh, makes sense great business credit cards uh with by using your ein and not your ssn you will still need to have a personal guarantee most of the time but uh contrary to what a lot of people say uh, but like if you really want to get like another loan or a loan to actually expand your business your, your business is going to need to have more than two years of history right and so this is why i say you should always think long term you should create an llc for your business for that reason so you start building some history you can start building business credit with your ein and uh, by opening business credit card and all that stuff so it actually reports on your business credit and also you know you just need to build that history because you need to think long term okay your business is going to grow you may start to look at other uh, business model and you should never see like any business that you start this way you should never see it as uh, just a side hustle, okay? It's a really dumb way to do it. Think of it as a business. You are a business owner. Stop thinking in terms of side hustles. It's a business. Start a business. Start an LLC. Pay the price to be the boss. It's not even expensive, okay? It's just $50. You can open an LLC with $50 in New Mexico. It's not a lot of money, okay? Get your EIN. Easy, it's easy to do. It's free. You go to the IRS website. Get your EIN. Start your, your, your business bank account. That's pretty, that's pretty much it, okay? That way, at least if you need to show some stuff, you have bank statements with your business names on it, with your EIN. And so, you know, you, you think long-term. Stop thinking short-term. This is such a dumb way. Like, 
then it really pisses me off, okay? It does not cost it does not cost a lot of money. Yes, you may not need it right now, okay? As of right now, you may not need your LLC, you may not need the business history and all that stuff. But Two years from now, three years from now, if you actually want to get some business loan, all that stuff, it is going to be like, do you really want to wait to that point and only start your LLC at that time, your business bank account at that time, and only have... You will need to wait two years to actually have enough story to actually be able to do this. So think long term all the time. It does not cost a lot of money. It does not take a lot of time, okay, to set up. Just do not do anything dumb. If you actually want to use the money for personal expense, pay yourself a salary, and uh, yeah... That's it, okay? It's not that much difficult. Like, it's not that difficult. And if you grow enough, yes, at that time, hire legal help to help you actually build a corporate structure that will protect you if you start having a lot of assets, okay? If you don't have a lot of assets, you can do it yourself. And it's it's not that difficult to not fuck up, okay? When you create your LLC, it's really not difficult. Um... It's going to take you two hours, okay? If you've never done it, it's literally going to take you two hours, okay? And if you want to spend a little bit more money, you can use one of the services to create your LLC online uh, and get you the EIN, which is free. But if you want to save the time to do it, just do it this way. It's really... If you do not do it this way, it's really hard to fuck up, to be honest, okay? It's just... A little bit of paperwork isn't like it's not even that much to feel. It's gonna take you like if you know how to do it, you can literally do it in twenty minutes. If you've never done it, yeah, you need to do a little bit of research, all that stuff. It's gonna take you two, three hours. Uh, just spend your Sunday doing it. That's it. Just open your LLC. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's it's like to be honest, like uh, like do it. Get the bu- get the business history, get your business bank account, and uh, that way you have track record for your business. To not do everything in your name. Pretty easy to do. That's it, okay? Open the LLC. That's today's video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, leave a like. Do all that YouTube stuff. I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. Thank you for watching.